Hey crafties, Laura here, and I'm so glad you can join me today in my craft closet. Today we'll be making a double flap gatefold card that I created as an alternative for the June Paper Pumpkin Kit from Stampin' Up! The Box of Sunshine. So you can see that it showcases fun designer series paper, and it's a step up from the basic single fold card that we often make. Also has this super cute belly band with a pineapple on it. So I'll be remaking it in this video using the Tasteful Touches stamp set and the Ingo Taste Designer series paper, just to show how versatile this fun fold can be. So instead of this uh, bumblebee and the coordinating DSP I use for the pineapple card, I'm going to be using gray granite cardstock and the In Good Taste Designer Series paper. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite of the new designer series paper that they have out. I'm going to be using the Tasteful Touches stamp set and the coordinating dies. These come as a bundle. I'm using black ink and then the 2019 to 2021 in color um, stamp and write markers, and specifically the Rococo Rose. So these are not our normal dimensions for cards, but as most fun fold cards, uh, you know that that's the way it is, but I promise you they're easy. So let's start with our gray granite to make our card base. Move this to the side so I have a clean workspace. So for your gray granite, for your card base, you're gonna want a five and a half by 10 and a half. So, open this up, I don't need that. No. Make sure you're using the cutting one. I sometimes forget. Let's see. I know it's unusual to cut it this way at five and a half, but five and a half. You're gonna to want to save this piece. We're gonna make the belly band out of it. But this one is five and a half by ten and a half. Where is that? There we go. Five and a half by ten and a half, and now we're going to score this at one inch and three and an eighth on each side. So I'm going to score it at one inch. The importance of having a clean desk. Huh? Make sure you're using your scoring blade. That's the light gray one. All right, and the second score line is going to be at three and an eighth. All those lines. All right. Now flip it over so you can get it on the other side. One inch and three and an eighth. So I'm going to show you. So. On the one on the outside, we're going to do what's called a mountain fold, where we're going to fold it outwards. And on the three and an eighth, we're going to do a valley fold, where we fold it inwards. And do the same thing to the other side. There we go. Make sure it lines up. So that is the base of our card. All right. Put that to the side. Next, we're going to get our designer series paper. I chose this one. Uh, I used it for a previous card, but I just really like this pink. And on the other side, it has this really fun gray photo realistic look. So your designer series paper, it's going to go on the front, these four flaps. And they're all going to be five and a quarter. So I figured, you know what? I'm just going to cut the whole thing at five and a quarter just to make my life easy. You can also do this with the designer series paper that is uh, six by six, which a lot of our designer papers do do come in. I can't see what I'm doing. All right. So two sides. You're going to want, I think I'm going to put the pink in here. That sound good? And then I'll put the gray in the front. All right, but it doesn't matter. We need uh, two that are two inches wide, so it's two by five and a quarter. Cut two of them one, two, 
and then we're gonna need two that are three quarters and five and a quarter. So I'm just gonna cut on this side. Sometimes it's easier to see on this side when it's smaller than an inch. Three quarters. Just check before I cut the other one. That looks right. And three quarters. All right. Uh, you know, let's finish cutting our papers. So for the belly band, remember that gray piece I had you put that aside? Cut it at one and a quarter. Should be 11. One and a quarter. All right, so this is gonna be your belly band. We're gonna want to score it at three inches and seven and a quarter inches. This is so that it folds around your card, holds it together. So what I say, seven and a quarter? Yeah. So you can see how this folds, folds in. And it's gonna go around your card and make, kind of hold it closed for your recipient. Wonderful, all right, I think that's all we need to cut now. Put our trimmer to the side. And why don't we go ahead and glue our pieces down? So I'm going to glue the pink ones down first. <laughs> you know, while I'm doing this, I should leave this out just so you can kind of see what it's going to be looking like. Sometimes it's easier to open it up and put your piece down. It's all in what you're most comfortable with. Art is art. Ooh, -hoo. the beauty and the hard part of the glue for me is that it is repositionable. <laughs> all right, there we go. I'll often use my uh, paint, uh, I'm sorry, my uh, My double stick tape for this just because it is permanent and quick and if I stick it down it's gonna be in the right place and if I mess up I put an embellishment over it there we go all right we got our pinks down so then on these inside flaps we're gonna be putting the grays so I'm gonna put the glue on the pink side you don't need too much you don't want it squirting out everywhere I like gray granite. It's becoming one of my favorite neutrals. If you follow my blog or see my videos, you'll probably notice a lot more of it recently too. In fact, this combo, this Rococo Rose and gray granite really looks nice. Smoky slate too. All right, so this is gonna be our card with our belly band here. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. doesn't take much but when you do glue it down make sure it is even Just... and some people don't like um... uh, some people don't like that you can see this here and that is why we are going to put something fun over it this one I use the pineapple and the sending sunshine sentiment um, for this one I use the Tasteful Touches stamp set and then uh, one of the dies out of the coordinating uh, bundle. Where did I put it? All right. So I've already stamped, cut out, colored in the Rococo Rose with the markers, uh, two flowers, and then one of my favorite sentiments, the good things in life are better with you. So I did this in with a Rococo Rose uh, ink. If you don't have the ink, you can color your stamps with the markers. Blow on it just to keep it wet before you stamp it and then stamp it down. I love doing that if I don't have an ink. So that is your fun tip of the day. All right, so let's get this down. Good things in life are better with you. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm just putting glue in the center area where it's gonna go on the belly band. You don't want sticky stuff all over your card too. Trying to center it. Let's be honest, just eyeballing it. Okay. So that's gonna go here, but let's get these, oh my fingers have glue on them. Let's get these flowers on. I'm gonna put one above and one below. You think that'll look good? Yeah, we'll go with that. All right. I just love the stamp set. It's uh, super versatile and it's pretty. I'm not really a flower girl or really a pink girl, but it has uh, no pun intended grown on me. There's a lot of fun new stamp sets. I know I keep using this one. Just It just works so well. I'm just checking to make sure there's no exposed glue. All right, let's put it all together. You can see that I didn't even do it straight up and down. No need to. Sometimes a little asymmetry is nice too. And there we go. We have our uh, uh, double flap gate fold card. Just using the same style of card that I use for my paper pumpkin alternative with the In Good Taste. Uh, in good taste designer series paper and the matching uh, stamp set that goes with it. So thanks for joining in on the craftiness today. I hope you subscribe for more tutorials and stamp and tips. If you're as huge a fan of designer series paper as I am, consider getting my DSP sampler pack. You'll get a share of all the newest papers. So the link is in the YouTube in the YouTube description below, and it's also on my website, laurascraftcloset.com. So thanks for joining in today. Until next time, happy crafting.